Hey there, this is Cece Schatz. And this is Kit Smith, and welcome to another edition of Boy and Girl Thing. I'm the author of the book, Let's Meet Our Match, Your Complete Guide to Success in the World of Internet Dating. And what are your credentials? <laughs> well, I am the doyen. Doyen. Oh. Divorce and dating. And, you know, you're hearing a bit of an echoing. It's because we're trying to broadcast live on WGSN TV Going Solo Network. We are getting an echo. So just bear with me for one minute to see if I can fix this. Let me see. I think maybe if I can lower the volume on here somehow. I think that's what the problem is, is this. Okay, so I'm hoping that you can hear us now. Can you? Somebody let us know. Yeah, so we're going to go with that. Okay, so if you're listening to us out there, hey, Pam, can you hear us? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Amen. Layman, absolutely. Oh, well, how, well do, how do we know she's answering us? Yeah, can you, well, all right, let's just make a quick comment here. I'm just going to write on here. Can you hear us? Oh, Sylvia. Sylvia, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, are we echoing? Is there an echo, Sylvia? I'll give her a moment to write in and see. We're just going to try to wing it, you know, because that's what we do on going solo. <laughs> we need some 12-year-old kid to tell us how to get this technical <laughs> stuff straightened out. I know. And we've got a teenager in the other room, but a little good okay. that does. No echo. Okay. All so right. Thank you so much. Thanks, so, Sylvia. Okay. So let's go ahead. I am Cece Schatz, and I am the doyen of divorce and relationship building. I help people really move through that transition to living your best life. And I'm also a co-author of a wonderful book that's called uh, Dare to be Authentic, and learning to trust yourself. And I learned that going solo. I learned that through, you know, some of the trials and errors and um, just despair that I felt, you know, when I was leading from divorce and, and moving and transitioning into, um, I think, living my best life as being single. And yeah. so now today, what I'm trying to do along with Kid is we're trying to help embrace singles so that they can live their best lives and understand that, you know, it's okay going solo. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can raise our vibration and somebody wonderful can step towards us and we can, uh, you know, really have a wonderful relationship with yeah. them. And I, I would think after our experiences, mm -hmm. and if you want to call it trial and error, yeah, well, uh, you a know, lot of error, <laughs> yeah, a lot of error, a lot of trial, and a lot of error. Okay, and the idea being that we've reached this point, and a we have kind of narrowed down what's really important mm -hmm. in a quality relationship, and. I, and what our needs are. Yeah. What are what are what are your needs? What are my needs? And then the flip side is appreciating the other person mm -hmm. and respecting what they need, their Absolutely. needs. And hopefully, when it works out, they need me. I need you. Absolutely. Okay? And hopefully, we can work that out. We have some great people joining us here tonight. We have um, Sylvia, who's always so loyal and to be with us. And we appreciate that. And we have a new um, visitor here, Pam. I'm just going to put you up for a moment here to let people see that you are here with us, and um, and also that Sylvia tells us that there that she can hear us fine. So we do appreciate that for sure. So let's move on to our topic tonight. And our topic is, what is it? I know you were panicking there for a minute. You couldn't quite remember what it was. I, and I sent it to you. Um, it is, you know, basically it's moving forward. And, and, on, and, and online dating. And why should you online date? Right. So you're ready to date. And so why should you online date? So let's kick off the show like we always do. Cheers. Cheers out there to everyone. And... Um, you know, I drink water with my glass. He drinks wine. So, I drink wine. Yes. So I just want everybody to know that because some people comment saying we probably shouldn't drink. But, you know, we get thirsty. For all of show. those wonderful ladies out there that mention in their dating profiles. Yes. 
that they like they enjoy sipping on a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. I'm your guy. Yeah, I do too. I do okay? too. Okay, I'm your guy. Here I am. Okay. <laughs> But after the show, I do Going Solo with Cece. And then I also produce uh, the wonderful Bruce Starr, the Love Coaches show. So I want to have my wits about me. And I don't want to be, you know, too, uh, uh, too a carefree and A glass and happy. of wine isn't going to make that much of a difference. <laughs> yeah, but you never know. So anyhow, so that's maybe why Maybe your I wits would come into sharper focus. I know. Well, maybe they would. Maybe they would. But. <laughs> so let's get on with our subject. Because I think it's important, you know, as we're moving from you know, um, maybe a relationship breakup or, you know, a passing of someone that, and we, and we've decided, you know what we've healed. We're at that good mending place. And we've decided we want to, we're ready now to bring someone wonderful into our Open lives. up our lives Absolutely. and let someone else come in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you. So why in the heck should we go on a dating site? Well, Here we are. We're very mature people. We've got it going on. Can we just walk out, throw the door open, and say, "Hey, world! Here we are." Sure, you absolutely <laughs> can do that. But then after that, the person that you tell that to, this is what I'm just going to open up my world, and I'm going to open the door and go out. They're going to say. Good luck. Yeah. The lawn guy happens to have his earmuffs on. He can't hear me as he's <laughs> whirling around, you know, cutting the lawn. So I guess I have to try something else. And so I've, you know, and I've met people in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. I've met guys at home. Well, Depot. you're a very social person. Yeah, I you am. do a lot of different gatherings I, and, I and parties and things like that. I do. So and how do we, when we're not as social, as I am. So how do we meet someone? And even, believe it or not, even as social as I am, it is still difficult in which yeah. to meet maybe me because I'm in a social setting. So guys tend to not want to really approach me because I'm surrounded by, you know, a lot of fun people. Mm -hmm. And so how do they break the ice and, and get in there? So the best thing is an online dating. Uh, and, and, we, we have discussed this numerous times in previous shows. We've talked about it in terms of age brackets. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the, for the, for the people that are in their twenties and their thirties, this has become pretty much a way of life. You know, they, they're, they're dealing with well, their swiping. Back yeah. And constantly. They're swiping. Yes. No, yes. No. Yeah. And, <laughs> But people, people like us that are again, we're we're baby boomers and we're in that age bracket. It's there's some uh, uh, there's a certain level of reluctance. There's from a certain a little bit of fear because of what we think we've heard about the online dating experience, and we live in an age where, sadly, okay. Our media focuses on the negative. You can read stories all the time about these tragic events that have taken place with people utilizing online dating sites. Mm -hmm. What you don't get, and it is what I think is not fair, and you, this is kind of something that can be spread over all of the media, is the success stories. Mm -hmm. Okay, we there's just believe me when I tell you, there's far more success stories, happy endings, love ever after from internet dating sites. Well, I you know, I agree, I agree with that, but I also think there's a transition in between. Sure. And so as we're moving forward in our lives and we've decided that we want somebody in our lives, that transition is what tends to hold us back a little bit or make us fumble, I think, as we're dating. And so I wanted to talk tonight about why is dating online good? What is good about it? And there's a lot of great aspects with regards to online dating. Number one comes to mind is that it's comfortable. If there's nothing better than to, to be able to look at a pro prospect of dating someone in the comfort of your own home, 
you mm -hmm. know, where you feel secure in. Mm -hmm. You are not being looked at. I mean, you can wear your PJs if you want. You yeah. don't have to have your makeup on. <laughs> I mean, you know, all, you know, if you're running out to the grocery store, I mean, like I do sometimes, I have my hair all pulled back and I'm all sweaty and, you know, and I, I forgot something and I'm running to the store and there he is, Mr. Gorgeous. And I'm thinking, can you believe it? When I look my worst, I'm, you know, standing behind this guy in the checkout and I'm thinking, please don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, here you are on a dating site and you can kind of look through and you can take your time in it. So there's a lot of comfort in that. And you can take it at whatever pace you want Absolutely. to take it at. I mean, who's Absolutely. to say you have to jump into anything? No. You know, you can no. browse through profiles and you can make comments to people. Plus, and, plus by not going and and, and ge in general a social event usually will have some level of alcohol mm -hmm. okay you can sit there in your pjs as and you drink said drink your wine drink your well <laughs> or whatever and you can you can have a an entirely sober conversation mm -hmm. and you can you can find out rather quickly if this is someone that has is going to get your potential interest mm -hmm. without having to do a whole lot of anything other than responses. Yeah. And one other thing, one other great thing about online dating is generally speaking, people will list their interests. Mm -hmm. They will, their, their ideas about things, what's important to them. And you can get, a clearer picture of that person with their description of themselves than just simply walking up to you blindly at a social event. Right. Okay. The other thing is, is if you're starting out dating and you, ha you haven't done this for a long time, you've been in a relationship for a long time, now you're moving forward and you can take your time with it. And as you're looking at profiles, you start to better understand what it is that you really do want. And so often they say, well, make a list of what you want and this and that. Well, that's true, but you really have to kind of ease into it. And I think online dating allows you to be able to do that. And it allows you to be able to go to the speed that you want to mm -hmm. go at. And if someone contacts you, you can make a choice of whether you want to respond to them. If you don't want to respond, if you want to respond and how do you want to respond right. and you can take, Take it as slow as you want. And believe it or not, ladies, there's a lot of guys out there that will take it at the pace that you want to do it in. Absolutely. You know, but you've got to remember, if you are on a dating site, you are there for a purpose. And so if you're there to string the guys along, that's not right either. No. And guys, the same thing. So the, the thing is, is it, we need to be honest with ourselves. If we're truly ready to date then let's let's jump into an online dating site and let's take our time and make the you know important mm -hmm. decisions of what we want to do to be able to move forward and um you know I, I think there's a lot of security within that yeah i mm -hmm. i totally agree there's obviously some red flags well, uh, there's periodically like, that you sure, you know, and there's like that in anything. I absolutely. mean, if you go out, let's say you go out to a function, you're in, you know, a restaurant, bar with music, whatever, and you meet someone. Who's to say that that person isn't a, a bad person? Right. You know, who's to say they're not there to try to manipulate you, get you home for the night, you know, rip you off? <laughs> there's no, Who there's knows? nothing. Yeah. There, Everything that you're afraid of on online dating can happen when you meet in person. Sure. So the thing is, is you just have more of a, a selection within to be able to, to look mm -hmm. at. And granted, you do have people from other countries and, and whatnot, maybe being a bit dishonest. Uh, but let me tell you, there's people that come to Florida all the time that are from other countries that are dishonest. So, you know, you're going to have that element of, you know, evil, I guess. And so if that's the case, you just have to know to be smart, be safe, you know, do the safe. We, we've said it many, many times. You can go back on some of our other shows. We can even do a whole nother show on safety. Um, but you want to be safe with regards to that. But it's not the online dating uh, facility, you know, that is, is 
it's what's bad about it. And that's where I, I really get upset when I hear that because there are wonderful sites out there and wonderful sites coming out, out and there's, there for there's, you. There, there's <laughs> wonderful people yeah. that populate those sites mm -hmm. more, mm -hmm. more so than anything else. Right. And I, I have written this in my book mm -hmm. and it's certainly worth, you know, presenting it again. And that is, allow don't allow your emotions and your desire to meet someone override your ability to think clearly okay that that is generally what gets people in trouble mm -hmm. more than anything else is they become emotional much too soon and it overrides their ability to think clearly or use common sense or use logical thinking. And that, is, that, that may very well be one of the biggest pieces of advice that I could give anybody. Mm -hmm. Slow down. Yeah. Okay. We all want to meet somebody. I want to meet somebody. All right. And, but I want it to be right. Mm -hmm. And I have learned, I, you know, as as bright as I'd like to think that I am, at one time I've been a victim of some of the very same things that everyone is concerned about with for themselves. And I learned some lessons the hard way. Yeah. Listen, I just, just want you guys to know down. I'm putting the calling number. If you want to call us, we only have a few Please minutes do. left to the show. Our call-in number is 727-238-8970. We are broadcasting both here on um, live on our WGSN-DB Going Solo Network Facebook page, but we're also broadcasting live for the first time on WGSN live streaming radio. So you're hearing us live out there. If you're listening to our show, um, we're right here talking away, and, and it's a, not a podcast. It's a live a live show. So we're excited about that. So you can call us at 727-238-8970. So feel free to give us a call. Uh, we would love to be able to answer any questions you might have or just any comments that you might have. So uh, that would be very cool. But um, we don't have too much longer left on the show. We only have, it goes by so fast, just a few minutes. So yeah, I know. closing out, do you want to say anything? Um, give our audience a little bit more about our topic tonight? Uh, my personal... My personal feeling is that overall, in general, online dating sites are an absolute blessing. Okay, they are a blessing. They're, this is something we didn't have yeah. 20 years ago. Okay, they have made it much easier to facilitate uh, meeting someone and creating that wonderful new relationship that we all strive for. Mm -hmm. We're all looking for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You just disregard. I'm, I don't know, maybe that's not even the right word. Just take all of the negative that you've ever heard about online dating sites with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a lot of individuals who unfortunately have been the victims of scams, frauds, and everything else. And again, our media, being what it is, wants to pounce all over negative. Well, I think and that, negative yeah. has, has always overridden positive. Yeah. Okay? Well, I think here's the thing: is is a lot of that stuff happens because we haven't used our brain. We, we you, you know, we want, like you said before, our emotions. I just want to say in closing, um, it's that sometimes when we are fearful of something, we we put it at a particular object and it's not necessarily that particular object that we're fearful of. Let me finish. Okay. That we're fearful of. The, the reality is, is that we are feel for fearful of many things. And so I think we have to look from within to try to determine what that is. So sometimes, believe it or not, it's you blame the dating site that they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing when in fact it really is your fear 
that's holding you back. And so I think you have to do a double check on that because so often as we're moving forward and we're making that transition into dating, into meeting the right one, uh, the reality is, is we're not quite there yet. And so I think that as you've many times said, it's to stay, take a step back, you know, mm-hmm. take a breath and slow it down and see if it if it's working for you. And if it's not, it's okay to pop off the site for a while and then come back on again. Because that is one of the beauties of online dating is that you have a choice to do what you want to do. And I wanted to add to what I had said mm-hmm. previously. IQ or intelligence has nothing to do with this. Oh my God. He's going to bring up the chemistry thing. Again. No, no, I'm not. No, not this. We cannot get out of a show without this. the chemistry thing. <laughs> not this time. I thought, oh my God, we're going to get out of the show without even, even talking about it. Well, that's the, that's the most powerful aspect of the whole, the whole deal. And we could spend more than just one show on the chemistry. Sylvia, aspect. you're probably laughing right now, aren't you, Sylvia? And but the, but what I'm what I'm saying is the 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 ability to separate reality mm-hmm. from who's trying to scam you or has nothing to do with your intelligence mm-hmm. or your IQ. Many, I, I again, I quote. In my book, an art, uh, about a, a professor of particle physics. Okay, time how much you know? There's how much smarter? Big story. How much smarter can you get than that? And he was a victim. Yeah. Well, I don't okay. want to go there because that's not what the show is no. about. It's not no, about. Saying, it's not saying, about the negative aspect abs- of right. dating. It's right. about the positive, and the positive is that it's comfortable. It is very safe. You have a choice in what you want to do. There's no one, you know, pushing your buttons or telling you what to do. You can go at the speed that you want to go at. And, um, you know, you just might be surprised to actually meet the right one. So no, you won't be surprised at all. That's what you're doing. That's what you're there for. (laughs) Okay. Well, we're going to have to go. So I, I hate to say the show has gone very quickly, but we have another show coming right on. So I have to get off so I can get on to the next show. So stick around here on WGSN DB going solo Facebook page. We'll have another show coming with uh, going solo with CC. So this is CC Schatz. And I'm Kit Smith. And you are listening to the boy and girl thing. And so thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Same bad channel. Absolutely. Bye for now. Good night.